Hi there and welcome to A-Level Biology with Miss Estrick. In this video I'm going to be going through using genome projects from Topic 8 A-Level Biology. If you are new here then click subscribe and the notifications so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos. So first of all just a reminder from Topic 4 in AQA what the genome is and it is the entire genetic material of an organism and in eukaryotes that is found in the nucleus of a cell. Prokaryotic organisms don't have a nucleus, so it'd be loose within the cytosol. Now, sequencing a genome means identifying the exact DNA base sequence for the entire genome or for the entire DNA of that cell. And although we say cell, it's worth bearing in mind that for um, every single cell, in one organism it will contain the same DNA except for red blood cells which don't have the nucleus and for gametes which have half of the amount of DNA but it will still be the same DNA base sequence. Many organisms genomes have already been sequenced and we've got here in this image an example the human genome and HGP is the human genome project. And as you can see, they started it in 1990 and 13 years later, they finally completed it in 2003. So the entire DNA base sequence of a human has been identified. Now, you don't actually have to know the method of how scientists sequence a genome. And the reason for that is it used to be on the specification, but they took it off because it is such a fast moving area of science that once you learn one method, it's already changed within a few years. So you don't need to know the methods. What you do need to be aware of is the fact that the methods that they use are continuously being improved and they are now fully automated. So that's the extent that you need to know. So what can these genomes be used for then, or the knowledge of the genome? Now in simpler organisms like prokaryotic cells, it's actually easier and more useful, and that is because they don't contain any introns, which are the sequences of DNA bases that don't code for an amino acid. And what that means is you can then use their genome to directly work out the proteome, and that is all of the proteins within a cell. Now that is really helpful in particular for designing vaccines because you can look at the proteome of an organism, look at what the potential antigens are therefore on their cell surface membrane and use that to design a vaccine. Eukaryotic organisms and those which are more complex as well um, they have introns within them, which are those sequences of junk DNA or base sequences that don't code for amino acids and therefore proteins. They also have the regulatory genes, so the parts at the beginning and the end of a gene, which aren't directly coding for an amino acid. And for that reason, you can't use the genome directly or easily to translate the proteome. So it is slightly harder. And that is it. That's all you need to know for sequencing genomes for A-level biology. I hope you find it helpful.